Hello everyone, good to see you. My name is Anne Claire Mulman, our website cwowi.eu, Church Without Walls International. The main uh, uh, website is cwowi.org. You can find a lot of articles about House Church if you are interested in that. Also on our website, wonderful uh, articles in translated into different European languages that can help you sound biblical uh, teachings. It's the Word and the Spirit coming together. But today I want to talk to you about scriptures that are often misunderstood, scriptures that I in the past also misunderstood. And the good thing is that we are always learning. We never stop learning and growing, right? But maybe you misunderstood them too, or maybe you are still misunderstanding those scriptures and you don't understand why it doesn't work for you and why it does seem to work for others. Well, I'm talking about the difference about the word logos and rhema. They are both translated into our Bible as the word word. So word, word, but there are two different words in Greek. One word for word is logos and the other word for word is rhema. And that's a big difference. What is logos? Logos speaks of the general counsels of God. It is the whole uh, of the Bible, the Genesis through the Revelation. And, and the rhema is coming out of the logos is a specific word that, that is shared or spoken with a person, and that word is rhema in Greek, a specific word spoken to a person. Oftentimes, that rhema proceeds from the logos. Okay, um, maybe you have been taught or read books or whatever, or articles about that we are to read the word of God. You know, like two chapters a day, one chapter from the Old Testament, one from the New Testament. I've done that in the past. And then we think that we have a lot of word in us. And of course, it's good to read the word. I love the word. I love to read in the word. But it's not the the logos that makes uh, that gives us faith or that we that we live by but it's the rhema word of god matthew 4 4 you probably know the scripture it says men shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god it's not by every logos you do not live by the logos word of god that's not your food you know but you live by a rhema you live by a specific word that's given to you for your situation or what you are to dwell on or what the Lord wants to teach you, you will live by that spiritual word, a word given to you. And we should make that rhema word, that specific word out of the logos, that word from him to you, equal important in our hearts as receiving our daily meals. That's what you live for. That's where you grow from. You do not grow from just reading the logos, but you grow from receiving that rhema word from God and dwelling on it and asking for more revelation. What do you mean, Lord? And what I like to do, I like to go to different uh, references. In my Bible, it gives you different references. I go there, I go there, look up the same word, and I dig and I dig into it, see if there is more food. And there is more food because the word of God is living, right? So that is our, day, that is our daily bread. It's the rhema word of God. Okay, and when you fellowship with him and constantly talk with him and speak with him about your, your things, what's going on, about how you love him, he speaks back to you. And those words are also rhema words. The, the fellowship with him results in rhemas in our lives, specific words spoken to you. Another scripture that I long, that is by many uh, understood wrongly, Romans 10, 17, a, fa a well-known verse. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing of the word of God. So people say, okay, you have to listen to read the word of God and then you build your faith. But it does not say faith comes by hearing and hearing by the logos of God. It says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the rhema of God. Faith comes when you hear a specific word from God to you. And that produces faith. And when you respond to that, the Bible calls that faith. The error is telling a person that building knowledge of the Logos, that will lead to great faith, that will lead to answered prayers, that will lead to maturity, that will lead to healings, and so on, and so on. And that is wrong. It is not faith that not come by Logos, but by hearing the Rhema word of God. For instance, and I've to, maybe I've shared it here, probably I did. In the past, when we needed another home, we needed to move because we had a word, a rhema word from God to go to a specific place for work. We both asked the Lord, is it your will that we should move? Do you want us to have that job? And he gave Will and me uh, individually a scripture uh, uh, um, what applied both to our lives. 
And so we knew we had to go, but then we needed a home. At that time, I did not know the difference between Locas or Rema. So I just bought a map of the city. It was the city of Houten in the center of the Netherlands. And I was just thinking uh, like, okay, Will needs to go to his job. So that would be this road. I I have no car, so I need to go by uh, by foot to the, to the shops and so on and to school. So the school must be close to our home. The shops must be close to our home. So there was an area like that and I pointed it out and said, Father, I would like to, we would like to have a house over here in this area and we do need four bedrooms. We had four children at that time. Later, number five came, but at the time we had four children. So I asked specific for four bedrooms and I don't know if I ask anything else, but this is what I remember. And guess what? We got exactly a house over there in that area. And that was because we had a rhema, a specific word from God spoken to us. You can go, you go there. I have provided that for you. And we just asked him what we needed. So, yeah. Uh, many believe, um, well, that is what that is when faith comes. And also John 15, 7, that is actually the scripture that I want to talk about. And I skipped it over, John 15, 7, that's what I refer to. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it will be done for you. That was what was happening. If you abide in me and my rhema words abide in you, not my locals word, but my rhema words abide in you. So we had that rhema word. It abided in us. We knew we had to go and we asked whatever he needed and it was, it was done for us. So it's not that you can ask whatever you want if you build that logos in your word. And at a certain point, you have such an amount of knowledge of the logos that you can ask anything you want. Maybe you've experienced, experienced that yourself. That is just not the truth. But also Romans 10, 17, that faith comes when you hear from God and that produces faith. We, that's the way we got born again, right? There was a, there was a revelation, there was a rhema from God that you knew, okay, and that you are born again, that you can do it. Maybe you've known that uh, when, you, when you wanted, like, were looking for, for a job or, or something like that, and you had that word from God that he had provided a job for you, or, or he had provided a specific job, and you just had faith that it would all turn out well. And it did, because you had that rhema word from the Lord. Okay, another scripture, Ephesians 5, 26. Paul is talking here about the church and he says that he might sanctify and cleanse her, the church, you and me, with the washing of water by the word. New Living Translation says, washed by the cleansing of God's word. And that word, of course, you understand it right now. You know what I'm going to talk about? It's not the logos that cleanses us, but it's the rhema word, a specific word the Lord speaks to you. Like, for instance, when you feel you failed it in the past and you still feel condemnation or you are condemned uh, by the devil, whatever you think, the Lord can never use you. And then he speaks maybe through a word from someone else, yeah, an, an encouraging word, a word that builds you up, a word that says that the Lord says, I have forgiven you, you are cleansed, you are clean and I will use you in my kingdom. Wow, and that is a cleansing. You feel so clean. That is because God spoke that specific word to you. So you are cleansed by the rhema words of God. You probably have experienced that in your own life, right? Another scripture, Ephesians 6, 17, talking about the armor of God. It says, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And the word sword is an interesting word because it's the Greek word, machaira, and that was the type of sword, of sword that Roman soldiers used in battle. It was a small sword and it was used when the enemy came very close. It was a sword that was easy to handle, a sword that was very effective. So when you are, you feel like you are in a spiritual battle and the devil or the demons are close to you, you need a specific word that penetrates a blow to the enemy. You need not the logos. You cannot just pick out some scriptures and proclaim it. But you need that uh, rhema word, that specific quickened word of a times from the scripture. And that quickened word, that rhema word, that becomes like a sword. That's what, you, what Jesus did when he was tempted by the devil in the wilderness. The Holy Spirit quickened the word and, the, and, the devil, and the, when the devil said something, the, the Lord said, devil, it is written. So oftentimes that rhema word comes out of the logos. So it's good to have the word of God, the logos word stored in your heart. But uh, so that the Holy Spirit can pull up a scripture and bring it to your mind and say, this is the specific word that, 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 that is for you in this situation that you have. Of course, it's good to dwell, <coughs> to have the word logos 
dwell in you richly, what Paul says to the Colossians, chapter 3, 16. Of course, that's good, but we live also for, for the rhema words, as specifically when you are in a situation or when you don't know what to do, when you have to make a decision, you just go to, you don't go to the locals. Yeah, you can go to the locals, but ask the Lord for that specific word, that rhema word, that he oftentimes takes out of the scripture. David said in Psalm 119, verse 11, Thy word have I hidden my heart, that I might not sin against you. And guess word, guess what the word is? That is the word that he spoke to you. David said, the word he spoke to me, to me I hid him in my heart so that I might not sin against you. Okay, so it's about constantly receiving rhema words, living words, words from the mouth of God, words that he is speaking to us through his word, to his spirit, into our hearts. I hope it was a blessing. If you have questions, you can go to our website, cwowi.com cwowi.eu. See you next time. Bye-bye.